and I was trying to do an upload and guess who turned up? They are right in the way of the tower for my internet. So now I don't have internet, but I do have, and I've got to be thankful, diesel fumes uh, running constantly straight over my boat. So good on you guys. What nice people. Apparently, I've heard that there's a young lady down here who's really keen on spearfishing and uh, she's short on one rubber. So I'm just out to go and help her with that. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. I'm talking about the elastics, the rubber, you know, the for the propelling the spear shaft. Gosh, come on. Anyway, um, I don't know if she's good looking or not. Does she have a good body? It doesn't matter. I want to help a damsel in distress because, well, she needs it. Damsel in distress is what we're here for, you know, except for this woke cancellation crap that's all going on. Doesn't matter, chivalry ain't dead. I'm out to help this young lady. Doesn't matter if she's good looking or not. Some would say that I knew about her five days ago and I didn't give a damn, and it's only I found out, what, 20 minutes ago that she's actually very good looking and has a good body, that I'm actually going now. But that is incorrect, people. That's reading too far into the story. That's not correct at all. Put your feet up, people. It's getting pretty deep around here. I thought I'd uh, get rid of all my nudity. Uh, before I get there, you know, don't want to embarrass the people. Hey, look at this. I'm weathercocking. Ho oh ho! Got my own autopilot. Ho oh ho! Almost there, there's a bunch of boats. Suppose I should put some clothes on. These blasts from the past videos are from the very last days of freedom and I met a heap of interesting people. Now, what I need from you guys is a bit of help. I really need you to like, subscribe, share and comment. Do as much of those as you can because we've got some issues with the sponsors. I've been writing my little fingers off and they don't want to know us because our numbers are so low. Now, there's a very, very good chance if things keep on going the way they're going, in a year and a half, we're going to have an empty boat without a mast, without a boom, without electric motors, without solar panels. And we're going to have a bucket for a toilet. And yes, that same bucket is going to be the sink. Do you think the girls are going to want that? Hmm, I think not. So come on, people, do your part. And um, like, subscribe, share, comment. Top stuff. Okay. Um... <laughs> As you can see, I'm a, I'm a professional people. I don't know how to. Um, the beautiful Anisha used to tell us your story. It's an interesting story because you. Um, I've heard it before a little bit, people, and I said to her, "Don't tell me anymore." She's got to tell me on camera. So start from the beginning. Well, I'm Anisha from Switzerland. I speak. Um, English. Sorry. She doesn't understand yeah. Australian. <laughs> I doesn't. I doesn't understand his accent sometimes because I speak French usually. Well, um, when I was young, I was afraid of the water. I was really bad swimmer, and I was afraid of the fish. I had like a phobia of the ocean and water. You grew up so on a farm in the I, mountains. I grew up on the farm on the mountain, mountains. I was a horseback rider. Oh, okay. So, um, not. Uh, Chicks and horses, yeah. people. Chick they just like a big wild animal yeah. between their legs. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, and, um, I didn't go swimming in the lake or in the in the sea, never. And I spent a long time in India, uh, traveling in India when I was 19, uh, 17, 19, and 27, 28 years old. And I was, I was camping on a beach. Uh, with a guy, I met somebody, and uh, we camp on the wild island on the oh, beach. Andaman Island. And, um, Andaman Islands. It's near Thailand, but it's part of India, and it was really wild at this time. And I was not going in the water, I was just... So you were scared, the big oh, yeah. blue was scary. Yeah, I was going on, the, on, the, on my knees, and that's it, because I was really afraid of sharks, of fish, of 
you want to. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, uh, I met a guy who was really good at spear fishing. And yeah, like, like I wasn't you. me, people. Yeah. Wasn't me. Wasn't I'm just, you, but it, was he just, was like I was you. just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Okay. And a uh, good uh, snorkeler. So he, I went with him, and we had to. Swim. Now, didn't he drag you out? You said. Yeah, he was in love with me, but I was not in love with him. That uh -huh. was a problem. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always a problem. But yeah. <laughs> no, no, but didn't he like? physically take you into the water or you no, no, you, 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 you went? Yeah, I went with him and we had to swim a long distance in Oh, let's go back to the he was in love with you and you weren't in love with him. I think that's funny. Yeah, See no. what they do, people? <laughs> they have this beautiful daffodil yeah. flower about them and then nah, nah. gone like a rat out of an aqueduct. I don't know if that actually applies that saying, but anyway. So yeah. I digress. So you went up? So you went up beyond your knees? I was we were swimming together. He held my hand, and we were swimming for long he distance. Probably to the river. still in love with you. <laughs> and anyway. long distance in a shallow water, so it was okay for me. And, oh, yeah. and we are arrived to the reef where it was like the uh, drop off. Drop off. Yeah. Lots of beautiful small fish, and I was not afraid because it was beautiful, and it, the fish are small and cute, and they were under me, so it was okay. And then I saw a turtle for the first time in my life, and I started to follow the turtle like, with the current out far away, and like, oh, I'm flying with the turtle. And where's, he didn't the, where's the guy? Uh, he didn't follow me, no, he was trying to call me. Oh, now he, do, now he was scared. <laughs> Maybe. I'm in love with her, but she can go to hell. Yeah. She's gone. <laughs> gone. Bye. Bye. Anyway, gotcha. So, so and then the, the turtle left. She was fast in the water. and. The water was milky, I had no visibility, and then suddenly I saw a huge animal coming, like huge alien coming. Alien, alien. Yeah, yeah. alien, yeah. I had no idea what it was because I had no idea about the sea. And, and she arrived and she was turning around me, and I was just like, my god. What was it? A manta ray. A manta ray? A big one. How really big? big. I have no idea, maybe the biggest one when you go out of uh, I don't know, far, far, five or six meters yeah, big. I think so. They can because, go uh, huge people. Yeah, they can go really big. Yeah. yeah. And, and so it came far. right up to you. Yeah, and she How she, close? How close? Like, like that. They're close. Yeah. And really? then me oh, yeah, that. and then she turned around me. Yeah, wow. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god. She, she, she will eat me, she eat this. The key, has the cue that told me. So was your heart beating? Were you like? I was dying almost like. Uh, really? And then she left, and I keep swimming, and for a long distance it was really far. I was yeah. really panicked because the island was really really far. I don't know yeah. from here, but really really far. And I was like, now maybe I will see a shark or something. I'm I'm out. My <laughs> friend didn't follow me, and <laughs> well, love uh, only goes so far. <laughs> Well, I learned something. You never go with the current out far. You always have to swim against the current. Always and then you come swim against the current. The current but I've got a funny story about that. I was swimming against the current. I'm going, oh, this is. Oh, I can't wait to swim back. But then the tide changed, and then the current was the other way as I was swimming back. So I no. was against the current for oh, six no. bloody hours, like seven kilometers. Oh, it was no. crazy. Crazy. But anyway, so um, you got used to the water. Then slowly. Slowly, slowly, I get used to the water. I was afraid of the, the fish, you know, the, the jack that are coming to you yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. they have sometimes teeth or like uh, the barracuda. Yeah, yeah, I have teeth. Yeah. I have big teeth. Slowly, slowly, I get used to it. And but now you're a spearfisher person. And, yeah, because... Um, and you, she's caught some big fish, people, um, yeah. especially over in the Pacific, yeah. you've done. Um, yeah. I've yet, I've only, um, we're going to go out. Uh, spear fishing, yeah. and um, yeah, we'll see what we can get. Well, when I was in the Andaman Island, I was yeah, it was a few years ago, like yeah, 15 years ago maybe. Then I saw a sailing boat in the Anchorage, and I say one day I want to sail around the world. Oh, around okay. here. Yeah. Ah, yeah. so okay. that's well, the that's first good. time I, I visited boats. There. Yeah. they were a sailor that were they around the world. They were they had a pirate ship, really nice. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. and did you? Um, how do you go at sailing? Are you um, you like sailing, or is it you get seasick? Or? I get seasick all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a big, yeah. <laughs> a bitch, isn't yeah, it? But, <laughs> but I, yeah, I get 
I manage because yeah, not always on the sea. I'm, I have seasick, but then when, when I'm in the anchorage, yeah. I like this life. So it's only yeah. like 0.1 percent or one percent of the time you're sailing, yeah. so it's it yeah. can be worth it. Yeah. But now she's so yeah. excited. I mean, I mentioned before. Yeah. Oh, we go spiffy. <laughs> We're gonna go spiffy? What? We're gonna go spiffy? She's like an animal, man. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy, we're... crazy. We're gonna get it. Let's go. Let's go. After we go tomorrow morning, can we go in the midday? And then after that, we'll have some lunch. Then we go in the afternoon. Yeah. We can go three times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. And we can go even on sunset. That's four times. Yeah, let's do that. You're crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. You might have a fever. Yeah. yeah. She's got oh, the fever. No, it's so much fun, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And, when and we, I was here four years ago in San Blas and we didn't have food anymore. And we had a really small sailing boat, 31 foot, no fridge and no food. And we were in San Blas and then I met a guy who was spear fishing, mm. really good. And he said, yeah, here you can do I wonder here. why is it you meet all of these guys. Is it just luck? Yeah, just luck. Just luck. We were doing barbecue on the beach. And but if you were like can... fat and old, do you think you'd be <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Sorry, no. people, I might cut that bit out. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. funny. I'm actually yeah. helping Anisha because she's a damsel in distress. It's got no I mean, her being good looking has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> At all. Okay, what you got to do yeah. now is you got to lift your yeah. feet up. It, yeah, because it's getting very deep yeah. with bullshit <laughs> that I've just made manure out of my mouth, okay? okay. All right, so uh, next uh, footage, we should be doing some spirit. Yeah. Ah. I did some training, he's my teacher. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know uh, enough well, to do, to, to hold my breath longer. Yes, no, but I, what I tell you to do, when you're on the toilet, when you're reading a book, when you're cutting the veggies, the onions, you should be holding your breath. Just keep yeah. on holding your breath. When you are in the toilet, that's the best place to do that. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spear fishing's easy, people. You just point and shoot. I mean... First, my... you need to know which fish you want to catch. Yeah, but I, I told her about the, the yeah. Gestapo theory. The Gestapo theory is you shoot first and you ask questions later. This is hilarious. <laughs> the fish can't escape right. us now. Three guns with me and one with Anisha. God help them all. Jesus, people, she was like a wolf. She just took off and I barely could keep her. And then within a few minutes, she'd already shot a fish. My ego was at stake here, so I had to go out and shoot one myself. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Top stuff, people.